When you're ready to use your new library to uh, run some crown molding, you can access it by going up to Windows, Components. The uh, down arrow will uh, bring up the libraries. I'll grab the molding, and uh, there's my crown. Now if I put it in position here, you can see it uh, will easily run around the uh, um, circumference of this box. Uh, but say I just wanted to run it across the front, or maybe the left side, you'll see it's not really oriented correctly. I could place this down, rotate it, and stick it back on the box, but uh, there's an easier and faster way. I'm going to set it down here and go through the process of exploding and uh, recreating the component. Uh, this can all be done when you initially place the uh, new component into your library. Uh, I left it out of the first video just for simplicity. Uh, we'll call this crown again. Uh, this time I'm going to select glue to any and set component axis. Uh, I'm going to start right at the uh, bottom corner that touches the wall of, the, of this ground profile. And the first axis I'm going to set is perpendicular to the uh, profile. This is the way the crown is going to run. And then the second axis will be up the back side. Now this gray box you see here, this is the gluing plane. This is what's going to stick to uh, whatever I decide to put the crown on. Now that uh, it's set, I'll hit create. It's going to tell me I already have something called crown. If I want to replace it, which I do, I'll hit yes. Here's uh, my new crown, and you'll see it sticks to the side here. And if I move it around the front, it sticks there as well. I'll put it over in this corner. Now to uh, place it vertically, uh, I'm going to grab it by this corner right here, which is uh, right in line with the front edge. And I can move it in the blue direction, move it up or down. Now you can see sometimes it may be hard to stay on that blue axis. If I hit the arrow key, up arrow in this case, uh, it automatically locks in the blue direction no matter where I go. And I'll use the inference engine to uh, place it. If I just uh, hover anywhere on the top here, it will automatically align that point that I've grabbed with the move tool to the point that I'm hovering over, which is the top of this. Uh, now my molding's placed and I can push pull or follow me around the entire uh, perimeter if I want. 